Hello everyone, my name is John Murray. I'm going to start making a series of video on um, ideas I have in ancient archaeology starting uh, today uh, with my first video at uh, Gobekli Tepe on the uh, pillar number 43, I believe it's called, which is commonly called the Vulture Stone. Um, I've sent out a series of emails on this um, over the last several years describing what I think it really is. And I think it's actually um, a warning not about a, a comet strike, but about uh, uh, cyclic solar plasma waves, which uh, Dr. Robert Chalk talks about on his website, uh, www.robertchalk.com. I'll leave a link below. And he also has a good book on this subject. But this is commonly over and over referred to as um, uh, a stone depicting an ancient common strike, strike and warning about a future one. Well, let's think about that very quickly. Why would you warn about a comet strike that may or may not come? How would you know when it would come or if it would come? You wouldn't know. There'd be no way of knowing. And so it doesn't really make sense that you would warn about something that may or may not come. I think uh, if you look here, I can explain to you how this is a depiction of a warning of cyclic solar shockwaves. Now, Dr. Shock and others have explained how these cyclic solar shockwaves occur every about 11,000 years. And that can be proven um, uh, looking at uh, residue in the soil and whatnot. And so if this is a warning of cyclic solar shockwaves, then you would expect there to be something uh, here um, about time. And I'll get to that in a minute. There, there is something about time which tells us, in other words, how frequently uh, these occur and warning us about when in time the next one would occur. But this is commonly called a vulture. I think it's um, more accurately called a firebird. And even into the 1800s, there were firebird sightings in the southwest and other areas of the world. And so I think maybe they actually did have what they would call firebirds uh, 12,000 years ago. Um, so this here uh, is, is the Earth. And this, the head represents the solar system or the orbit of the Earth around the eye, which of course is the sun. And then this may indicate uh, a solar flare coming towards the Earth. Now these up here look like sun rays or solar plasma rays and uh, coming towards the Earth. And then if we count the rings on the, on the firebird's uh, neck, uh, one, two, three, those could be orbits uh, around the sun. And so the Earth, of course, is the third planet from the sun. And um, here it has a, a pregnant belly, meaning it's full of solar plasma energy. And then it expels that solar plasma energy towards the Earth, and then it's deflated here. So this is the same firebird, only it's deflated after it has expelled the, the solar plasma. And um, if we look up here for time, then each one of these boxes, if these were each to represent a thousand years, there, there, are, there are 11 of them if you count them. So that's 11,000 years, which is the time between solar plasma waves. And so here you have solar, what we could call solar plasma waves here, solar plasma waves here. And then between them, we have what I call time boxes, each one of a thousand years. So you can imagine, you know, this being a historical site to teach generations of their children, a mother standing there with her children and explaining to them, well, here's the time boxes. They're between the solar plasma waves. So this is the amount of time between solar plasma strikes, 11,000 years. Now this one and this one may also be time boxes. That would be 12,000, 11 plus one, 12, and then 13,000 with an arrow coming down. So I'm thinking that may indicate that sometimes uh, it goes a little longer and the solar plasma rays hit between 12 and 13,000 years. And this is a solar plasma ray coming down towards Earth. It may also indicate that something is buried down here in a chamber uh, describing the history and how to protect the Earth from the solar plasma rays. Now these up here are probably larger time boxes. Uh, representing epochs of time, like maybe 11 times 11 or, or 12 times 11. So each one would be like 130, 144,000 years. And then of course you have the span of time across each one of these major time boxes. And it's probably just indicating historically as they use these to teach their generation after generation of children, you know, that this has been going on for hundreds of thousands of years, these cyclic solar shockwaves. So the upper part of these stones always indicates the sky and the lower part are, always indicates the earth. Um, 
so here you have you know here you have a, a, a scorpion in the earth and here you have a headless man and he's way down in a cave trying to protect himself from these solar positive waves and the point here is that that will not protect you from the solar positive waves here you have the head of one of the sunbirds indicating that those solar positive waves <clears throat> actually go through the entire planet and they, they get down there but I think the ancients probably did have some way of using underground cities and caves to protect themselves from the solar positive waves because you see them all over the world so like at the young wild young wild caves in China, I'm probably not saying that right, you have all those striations on the walls, and probably those were used to affix some kind of material to the walls that deflected the solar plaza waves. And probably the pyramids had some function in deflecting the solar plaza waves, but then when Atlantis sank, the main pyramids for deflecting the waves were gone under the waves. So they tried using the remaining pyramids on the planet to deflect the next cyclic solar plaza waves and, and they burnt them out and blew them up they overloaded them that's just speculation of course but I, I think that may be maybe what happened so we have 11 time boxes here and then if you count the feathers on the wing there are 11 11 feathers on the wing so they're they're accentuating the number 11 indicating again 11,000 years between most of the solar plaza waves perhaps some of them go to 12 to 13,000 years and um, that's basically my uh, translation of Pillar 43, commonly called the Vulture Stone of Gebekli Tepe, which I think should be called the Firebird Stone. I have a lot more ideas. My next video will be on, I think the Egyptians actually built a temple and left an edifice to prove to us and to warn us of these solar positive rays. That'll probably be my next video, so please subscribe if you're, if you're interested in that. Thank you very much.